Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations in the next episode on the Talbot build. But first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all of our lovely subscribers. Yeah, big new, thank you. Big thank you to all the new subscribers and of course our subscribers from before. We really appreciate every single one of you. It's just been fantastic. Yes, it has. Um, we're, we're near, at this point, we're nearly at 3,000 subscribers. By the time you see this, we probably will be. Which we just is can't believe amazing. it. Amazing, um, amazing. And an extra big thank you to our Patreons who are just awesome people. They really Thank are. You. Thank you. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can either join below, YouTube join channel or Patreon, buys a coffee. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, really good. So in this episode of the Tolbert, um, we attempt to align up all the panels, get the panel gaps correct. Mm -hmm. um, After we finish that, we uh, have a look, see what was under those bubbles on the roof. Oh yeah, that's at the end of the episode. Oh, that's a good one. That's so good one. stay tuned right to the end and you'll see what's underneath the paint on the mm. roof. What could be lurking? Yeah, so let's get going. Let's get going. Now the stickers are off, uh, I think it's time to try and figure out why this front end is so much higher than the other side. So um, I'm going to start by unbolting all the wings and try and adjust it to start with. Oh and if anybody wants a Lotus Tolbert sticker set, hit me up. Very nice under there though. I'll give you a quick look. Look at that. That is stunning. Like brand new. Probably better than brand new because the engine's been built properly. So the wing is off um, and there's a few bits we're not happy with. There's a lot of bare metal down this edge um, and down the other edge and there's a rust underneath the back of it. So although we don't want to, we're going to take the other wing off or we don't need to take the other wing off, but we're going to take it off so we can rectify all this stuff because guaranteed it's like it on the other side. Mm. I'll just show you quickly. Let's start with, we've got a grinder cut there. There's no paint in that. Um, bare metal, oh, can you see? There. That's bare metal. And there's more bare metal, there's plenty of it there. Look at that. And there's some rust down there. And this edge here is just in its... Um, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, that, that is, the red stuff is um, an oval product which is okay on bare metal but it's supposed to be sealed within six months so that needs sorting out. Um, there's a few scratches along the top of here. So <clears throat> Nothing terrible but it all needs sorting because even washing your car is going to make that rust Any water, get in and there. that's just bad for, for 
a car that's worth a bucket full of buckets. So we're going to go over to the other side and young Leanne over there, she's going to strip that wing whilst I go and do some painting. Yeah. Right, now the wings are off, um, we've had a good measure around at the front to see if we can find this error. And um, I've been to see another Tolbert and had some measuring as well. I think they just weren't that accurately made and I think on this car in particular all those little inaccuracies have turned out to be one big inaccuracy by having the wing up way too much this side. I mean, bring the camera and let me show them Come in. just up here. Look at that, not very far down at all, just off the top of there, whereas on the other side, it's, it's low stain. So, a bit of little finger in there. When, when somebody lined up these panels here, which they were lined up when they painted the car, this wing was sitting higher than that wing. So that's probably, that's half of our inaccuracy, it was just up there. So we're gonna, do a little modifying because it's, it's this bit is in the wrong place so we're gonna have to do a little bit of modifying so we're gonna just um we're gonna make this thing square because it wouldn't be i mean it, it's, it's pretty bad but the worst thing of all is the door gap on this side now this wing isn't bolted on but it is resting in its place and look at that door gap all over the place. Yep, yeah, that's not acceptable. Oh, hello. Shiny. Right, so let's get on with it. Get this wing off, start hammering it. Okay. Right, Lewis, if you lift the wing off, um, we can see what we're dealing with. This bit here is sitting down on this bit here. So we need to lower this bit in order to get this bit to sit further down in order to get the whole wing at the front edge down which will improve the door gap so let's get a hammer and dolly and adjust that As it's sitting low at the back here, if you lift the wing up a bit, look at that, it really improves. That's way better. Oh god, yeah, look, it's much more even. That's without pushing and pulling. Yeah. Much more even. Sorry, it's very hard to film a black car. And that's all leveled out, leveled out now there. That's oh, all much, much, out. much better. What do you think, Rusty? Do you approve? Hey, do you approve? A good dog. Success. Let's see what we have here. Right, let's push that down a little bit. We have 745 to this corner. And on this side, we have 745, 744. So within a millimetre, I think well, that's acceptable now. I think. A millimeter is more than acceptable tolerance. You'll Which be is with that. better than 15 mil off. 15 mil is a lot bigger than one mil. Yeah, I think you'll be happy to know that it came without any real modifications. No cutting, which no is cutting. good. All the bot holes still line up. Just a little bit of tapping over the hammer. That's all um, it takes is a bit of fettling. Don't need to repaint any engine bay or anything actually. At the minute you could bot all that back together and it will be... Um, I, yeah, we're not going to though. I want to coat everything that's not been coated in there with some yeah. epoxy or something. Yeah, at least. Yeah.
Now I've got this and this exactly where I want them. Uh, we need to concentrate on the next bad part of the car, which is this driver's door. Uh, so we're going to pull the wings off. We need to adjust the door so it fits in the hole perfectly before we get the wings on. We've spent um, a fair amount of hours adjusting everything, moving the doors, moving the latches, uh, adjusting the wings, hammering things into place, bending panels, stuff, stuff you probably didn't want to see, well you probably didn't want to see, but, <coughs> but we had to concentrate on yeah, what we, we had to concentrate what we did. But the long and the short of it is, this side is now down to the correct height, equal to the other side. The door shuts properly on the driver's side. All the gaps are even. The doors shut nicely. Even the other door shuts nicely. And everything lines up really nice down there. We're really happy with it now. It's coming on a long way. Funny thing is, the car's been here, what, a week now? A week. A week. The stuff on the roof is spreading. I think it's rust. I think it's rust under the paint. This car's been painted a couple months from wherever it was painted. That's not very nice, is it? It's not very nice to do this to somebody's pride and joy. So, shall we have a look, see what it is? You know there's only one thing we can do to find out what it is? Take the paint off. Take the paint off. And have a look. Does paint take enough time? <whistles> see that coming through? That means there's something coming up through the paint. Oh, coming through again. Does that look like looks rusty, like brown, rusty? That, look like brown that looks too. like rusty brown. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. That looks to me like rust. rust under Six. fresh paint. Let's see what we find. And the door number two. It's coming through now. That's a lot of product. Hold on. Oh, that rest. No, let's finish taking the paint off. Ooh. Ooh. There that it is. is another. <sighs> under every single one of them blisters. Oh, it's just going to be gross. under it all. I can't believe there was rust under those blisters. I know, it was pretty bad, considering that car had been painted a few months, a few months. at that point. Not very long. It doesn't take long for the rust to come back through the surface, which is why you should have to get it all out. You've got to get it out. You've got to get it out. It's just not acceptable. It is not. No. No. So uh, that'll be interesting. Next week, we're going to strip the rest of the roof. Yeah, we're getting the paint stripper out, and we will take all that paint off, and you'll see exactly what we're dealing with under the paint. Mm -hmm. So tune in next week. That'll be interesting. We'll see you then. See you then. Bye. Bye.